Bienvenidos a otro episodio de Sim Nation Podcast. Uy, qué raro que suena. Mi nombre es Pablo. Estoy acá con Fallon. Hi. Hola. Y el navideño Jan. Hello. That was so weird to do in Spanish. Um, <laughs> It's the language that you speak. It How is it so weird? Off. They'd be like, man, speaking English is I, like just crazy. I should have written it. I, 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 I actually conjugated incorrectly Christmas, Jan. I, should, I, I, I said it like in English. I, I, I have such a, a oh. hard time switching Oh, languages. it should be like This Jan guy switches Navidad. languages every week. And I'm like, my native language, holy... C Anyways, yes, <laughs> welcome to the Sim Nation podcast where we talk Sim, usually. And uh, this week, eh, we have stuff. Kind of. Not really. We're going to just talk whatever. We're going to look at Jan's fancy hat. We have some uh, city scaling stuff like the map editor, although we're more, most likely to direct you to another video. More on that later. And uh, also, Finland has like few of the latest five months that mods she can actually show you because they're, we're kind of lacking there. And uh, I guess we're just then going to talk about, about, I don't know, more power rangers. Awesomeness! Yeah, that thing. Um, anyways, so I guess you didn't. You um, know what is that. awesome? What? Oh, yeah, you bought that thing. That game? I played oh, yeah. that game. Oh, yeah. I bought it. All of it. <laughs> nice. Do you know there are cards that are blank that you can write stuff on? Oh, yeah. Um, as a um, note, I would get sticky notes and write on the sticky notes instead of defacing your blank cards. <laughs> oh, I have I have the, you know, the whiteboard pens and they just oh. brush off. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I played that game, and there are some kind of flecked up things that you can put together, and and a lot of them are uh, uh, racist. <laughs> I'm intrigued. You can say can't... things about Obama yeah. and big black dicks. Yeah, I mean, like, in the game, you don't Explicit. care. I think one of them had to do with, like, Nazi Germany, and then somebody's oh, yeah. response was, like, Jewish killing related. Okay. You know, usually uh, on our podcast, I hear like a stamp in the middle of it saying explicit. And it <laughs> happened like one minute. I love it. Jan yeah. said the D word. He said I know. the D word. Once he unlocked it, that's it. We're going to all be explicit. <laughs> the whole level has been unlocked. <laughs> yes. Explicitness. Um, um, yeah, this so yes. game is not for little children and maybe not for old people. <laughs> Elderly people. Oh, my God. Especially when it's like... What does this word mean? And you're like, you don't want to know what that word means. <laughs> Some I watched a video of uh, old ladies who had who were smoking marijuana for the first time, and they played Cards Against Humanity, and they were like, "What does queef mean? What's a queef? Queef? Is it? Am I saying it right? Queef?" And the guy was like. I think we're all friends now, ladies. So then it like cut to the next scene and like, oh, okay, it's a pussy fart. <laughs> it's bad. Pablo, you don't need to. You need. You need to cover your ears. Oh, don't, especially don't make me edit because I'm lazy. Um, right. But um, yeah. Ha -ha! I, I guess uh, right. we have um, simulation announcements. City Skylands announcement, and then five mods. That's all we got for The Sims 4. Cuts Actually, out the simulation announcement. We got many. Um, we um, we got the the Sims 4 um, top 10 mods. Uh, many people are watching it. You should definitely check it out. It's on our, on our channel. Uh, we got um, uh, Sim City oh 2000. Let's play going on. We got uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Let's play going on by Jan. Um, And uh, we are also now doing a podcast with uh, with Paradox Interactive that is just 100% focused on City Skylands. It lasts for about 20, 30 minutes, although the first episode is 40. And uh, we discover what's going on with the community, with the developers, developer log, the, uh, the streams, and so on. If, uh, if there is any way you should be trying to catch up with the game, that's the way. I promise you. Don't even look other way. Just go ahead and watch that video. And sure, you can find a link in the description below. And on that episode... You know, we do cover, uh, let me just put the City Skylands tag here. Um, we do cover um, the map editor dev diary, which is the sixth de dev diary. And um, uh, most of the coverage, you can just look it up here. You can just watch the entire video, but let me just quickly go over it because I don't want to leave you like, just like, oh yeah, I, it's, just tell me a little bit. You know? So I'm going to make the self for you. So uh, you can find This the article. It has to be Pablo. I am way too tired. I've oh, yes. for eight hours today. I'm completely exhausted. 
It takes and, so much uh, energy to stay awake. It's not even funny. Well, I don't uh, even also, know what was the name of that, that character? Barney. Oh, it's the same in English. Great. Yeah, Barney. All right, great. Barney. Yeah, I remember we were talking. Barney is our fourth co host, by the way. His last name changes depending on what country he's on the country, in. country, yeah. It's Goldmas <laughs> here. I don't remember what it is. I looked, we saw that last long ago. Um, oh, well, yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we covered, we covered the dev diary on the podcast, ah. on the City Skylines podcast, so you can watch the entire thing there. Yeah. Uh, we, we also posted it on our website, and while we're on the topic of City Skylines, there's also, I do a weekly AMA uh, kind of roundup uh, on the website as well. So you might want to check that. They answered a few more questions. Um, Actually, John answers a few more questions, and um, yeah, it's amazing. I, I I'm I shooting it right here. Go through. Good, you should. I yes. work very hard on that. I can. I know, and it looks um, really nice. Basically, how I get your have a constant AMA going um, on Reddit. Um, so I try to take the best um, five uh, questions and answers from that week, and I put them on there in case you don't want to read the entire AMA, AMA which I do. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, the dev diary cool. on the other hand, I have a bunch of energy right now. I think the coffee kicked in. Nice. Uh, the one I had hours ago. Um, so we had the dev diary. This okay, it was you can talk the about the, the, I'm, I'm going to be showing like, the, um, the article. I but. want to contribute a little bit because I have Double a feeling that I'll have to leave halfway through the podcast because my meeting will be moved up. Okay. So I'm, I have to do something. Okay. I'm like the only one that doesn't have meetings. Um, <laughs> so yeah, basically we had the dev diary. It was the, uh, the map editor. The map editor looks amazing so far. Uh, we saw it and it looks awesome. Um, you can basically do anything. Um, it does have a few requirements. Like you do need uh, highway connections to your beginning tile and you need uh, a C connection to the entire map. You don't need the C connection uh, or the ship connection, they call it, into your beginning tile, but you just need it in the map somewhere. Um, you can mm -hmm. pick your starting tile between nine different tiles. You create a little bit outside the, the nine working tiles so that you get, you know, a little bit of scenery. Your town doesn't reach end to end eventually. Uh, <laughs> what else? What else was there? The water mechanics are amazing. <laughs> and I don't even know what else was in there anymore. Um, been a, it's been a week. Let's see. Well, you can Very pretty much terraform the entire thing. And the interesting thing that uh, you have to think the other way around is... Um, you have to sort of dig in where the rivers and the lakes are going to be in, and then you just plop these um, uh, water these spawners. Generations, in a way. Yeah, yeah, water just, spawners. yeah the spawners just like put water like from the level you put the spawner down, right? So if any more water wants to go up, it will absorb it so it doesn't overflow and flood the entire map, but it will keep on producing that water, if you may, to make it like keep flowing it. And that is one of the things you have to bear in mind when you design these maps is the way, the direction and the speed water is going to flow. That is, it looks like a quite, quite an advanced thing. So, um, you know. Yeah, you also, you also the, the water spawners, because you mentioned them, they work both <laughs> ways. So for example, if you have, have a spawner at the beginning of a river um, or like on a top of a mountain it creates a waterfall mm -hmm. and goes into a river and flows into a lake you put the spawner another spawner in the lake with the height of the lake you want mm -hmm. um, it will fill the lake but all the water that comes in from the river will then uh, abs be absorbed into that spawner right. so it, it doesn't overflow, overflow the pond. all the time right yeah so it's they're, they're like little water level checkpoints if you made to make sure it never you know gets out of control um yeah, the fluid system is just amazing. I keep getting like, and uh, then of course you can work on the uh, define the natural resources and the decorations, of course. <laughs> and uh, you have like all kind of brushes going on here. Uh, let me zoom in no, on no, that. No, terrain brushes, um, like ore brushes, oil brushes. You basically just place them with a brush. You don't have to do anything specific. You just take the brush. You have different types of brush, different sizes, uh, opacity all that jazz you can also import uh, height maps from other sources mm -hmm. true um, like google like you could technically take a height map out of google maps and plop it in so you can right. technically create your area you will still have to go through and kind of smooth it down so that it's you can actually build stuff but it has that option yes you have to make sure the terrain is not like extremely bumpy every two like pixels because otherwise it'd be like impossible to build on but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and uh, I don't know if you. It has a checklist as well. It has a checklist as well. At the beginning. It need to be in there, and then optional things. So. Yeah, um, stuff that you must do. That the map requires, and then you can save it and share it on the Steam Workshop, or yeah. anywhere else you want. And uh, you can set also the theme of the. Um, oh yeah, yeah. There the are three kind of climates. Um, right. So you Nordic? have northern European, which is kind of Nordic, like Scandinavia, mm -hmm. maybe the Nordic countries. A lot of uh, kind of pine trees and trees with needles um because i can't remember what the hell those are called in english and then you have sort of a mediterranean kind of feel um thing going on uh which is slightly more warm it has more leaves and stuff like that and then you have a sort of a california deserty kind of terrain right this guy knows everything and that's basically it yeah but uh yeah if you want to hear more i mean we have the the video that uh, we made for uh well, sorry, yeah, it's on our channel. Pine so trees are paradox, and uh, there are so many. Trees I know what pine trees are. Started. I just there's a, there's a name for the group of trees that are um, like pine trees and everything, and it's just I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me, even though I speak English. But yeah, Nifris, um, if you want it? to hear more of our discussion no. on the dev diary and go more in depth uh, i would go and watch the city skylines video the yes, city skylines indeed. podcast we do bi-weekly i um, watch so there is it. one this week and there will yeah. be one next i watched the what whatever it's funny because i'm showing a video where we are like we're all on the right side now and then it's just me and jan just like again on the right side of the video that's on the left side it's just a mess going on the screen i'm just gonna it's too much down. jan and pablo yes. they're trying to they're trying to cut me out. I'm going to get <laughs> assassinated like the next couple episodes. That was our Christmas plan all along. <laughs> <laughs> and then as like a revenge, I'll grow out of Jan's stomach. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like his bright babies. <laughs> My stomach is so perfectly flat right now. Don't, don't. The this Christmas got really creepy ah, all of a sudden. Ah, ah, ah. Jan, you've been giving birth to these sprite babies. I think you can give yeah, birth to Yeah, show your triplets. I had triplets this week. <laughs> I don't even like sprite that much. Ah, it's all right. This one's my give favorite. Me a, give me a cream soda any day of the week. I'll drink that sucker. I like flavored, what, what is called here, flavored water. Yeah, well, you drink grass water, Pablo. I'm sure you like water. water. <laughs> flavored. We have flavored we have flavored water. Oh, you do? I don't like flavored water. I like it. It's like I, a soda without the ga gas part. It's we. I would only really like like kind of strawberry flavored, red red flavored water. Uh, I like more <laughs> lemonish. Like I do it during the summer where I put uh, I take a water jug and fill it with water and put slices of lemon in it and leave it overnight and it kind of creates a flavored Ooh, water. But it's good. I don't like I don't like the the purchased one. Artificial, they're... yeah. You can make lots of flavored waters. They have ones where you can make them with fruit. But then I'm thinking, like, how much fruit would actually, like, I mean, like, lemons. Yeah, I can see you slicing the lemons and you're slicing oranges. You can, you but, can, like, you can raspberries, put, you can, you can put watermelon. You can put watermelon in it. That creates an awesome one. And then um, if you slice strawberries in half, it sort of creates it, but not really. You have to put ones that have lots of um, water in them already. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really work. Like if it's you just good for you. you just throw yeah. a bunch of apples in there, it will do. Yeah. Cool. Well, like I read that you can do one with like grapes, and I'm like grapes. Grapes aren't gonna give you like a flavor in the water. It's just gonna you're just gonna be drinking grapes. It's so, like uh, very cheap wine. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> yeah. Fermented, very watered down, cheap yeah. wine. You can put um, you can put coffee beans in them too, uh, but I wouldn't want to drink coffee bean water. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff. Anyhow, yeah, we we have other uh -huh. things. Uh, uh, Pablo, Pablo and Pablo and Fallon recorded uh, top ten mods for uh, the series. So I we have that going on. You can video. check that out. Pablo lied to me and was like, "We're not going to see our faces during these." And I, I like told you not the beginning of it. Recording it was interesting. Lies. By the way, I have to say that I, yeah, the least. Lies. Um, okay. But yeah, he was. Uh, well, well, it got the have... last time I checked. It had like eight hundred views. Yeah, it's o over a thousand now. 
Yay! Yeah. So I saw it this morning when I checked uh, how much the video is uploaded. Well, because I, I did post it. Uh, oh, uh, now again, repetition of faces. Because <laughs> I'm showing the video again, like, now it's like, it's just, just too funny. This is a good mod. This is the hard, hardener, no, sorry, the, the gardener, hardener, yeah. gardener, uh, Oh, God, handyman. Pablo, what kind of mod are you looking for? <laughs> he it's wants the hardener. Handy, handyman and gardener <laughs> unite in the hardener. I'm actually probably A handyman gonna... and a gardener at the same time, Pablo. You're adventurous. Shower. He hardens your garden. Um, anyhow, yeah. Well, um, yes. Pablo never, like, you just don't want me to ever talk anymore. You just, this, this two a-holes here are trying to cut me out. Um, Why? You talk, the whole, look, look, everybody, she's talking on the video. Look, let me raise the home and repair them and you don't <laughs> want it to be broken. <laughs> Fuck you. See? She's um, talking. Pablo hates, um, he just hates me just doing anything. No, um, well, so we have confirmed, I mean, the, the, the actual... EA people, um, the gurus. We are going to get the December patch this week. Patch has come out on Tuesday. So tomorrow, today. Today, technically, yes. Today. Yeah, so tomorrow, watching? today, 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 tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps into this. No, just kidding. Um, and uh, at, somebody said on the forums that it's a massive patch. I don't really know massive. Um, I'm there. One of the gurus had posted a picture of the level 10 business room that you get um, unlocked in the career. And it had a bunch of stuff in it, like decorative stuff. Like it had a, um, like a chart board, you know, like a pie chart board for your business meetings where you need to look at pie charts and a desk. And uh, there was a llama corn. Uh, I think that was from the... What do you do for a living? I look at pie charts. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're fine. We don't do anything with the pie charts. We, we just, just look at them. Look at them. Just look at them. It makes yeah. me look like I am like, productive. Like also, me. arrows pointing up. Just look at it. <laughs> yeah. Just look at it. Don't don't think what it does. Just look at it. It shows yeah. something. Definitely shows something. Those are Jan's thoughts trying to escape his head. Um, and then uh, I think the llama corn will be a costume or a mask, something. I feel like it was a sim wearing a llama corn. Um, uh, costume as for the athletic career. I don't even remember when llama corn became a thing. I remember llamas were a thing. On The Sims 2, uh, you would have that on university. You have the llama, the annoying llama that will prank you. Yeah, but it was a llama though, not like a llama unicorn. No, this is like, I don't know, new. Because I didn't get university in Sims 3, but I had it in Sims 2. And Sims 2 was really good. But anyway, so there's, you know, you'll have uh, stuff to unlock. And uh, I don't know what else. What could be so massive about that? I mean, like Christmas maybe, sweaters. Maybe, maybe they're throwing maybe, in, you know, maybe the they're trying to get stuff traffic. Like they did before. Well, I mean, like Christmas decorative stuff. Yeah, but that's not massive. Like Christmas trees and presents and lights. Maybe oh, because there are many objects coming in. Snowing. Only it was snowing. I don't know. We never know what massive means for EA. I mean, <laughs> massive I mean, means they, you're getting they, they two say massive two cities Christmas for sweaters. City and then that you're happens. getting two Christmas sweaters, a Christmas tree, and some present boxes to decorate your house with. Right? That's yeah. massive. Plus the two careers. <laughs> um, that's, that, that's massive for EA. I I yeah. don't know anymore. Massive. I'm not even gonna start. <laughs> just, you know. I'm giving my Sims 3 away to my niece as a Christmas present. <laughs> she's getting a new game. Right? She's actually getting... Right? Yes, yeah, so she's brand actually getting new. a brand new Sims 3. Sims World Adventures, Sims Ambitions, and Sims Late Night. She's getting four new games. Wow. Four. You're the best ever. I know, because I am so done with The Sims 3. <laughs> I'm anyway, just done with The yeah. Sims 3. <laughs> yeah. You want to do the uh, the mods since we're at it? Sure, sure. Uh, right. Yeah, I mean, it's Fals every mods. way challenge. Fouls mods! Fouls mods! <laughs> Raise the roof! No, just kidding. Um, it's ever my, my challenge to find <laughs> mods before they run out. Increasingly harder challenge. Increasingly harder challenge. Challenge, challenge, challenge accepted. 
<laughs> um, is it really? Does anyone it, want to accept such a challenge? I mean, well, challenge has been accepted, and it is a challenge. You're trying to find more interesting dozen four mods than what we put in our top ten. What? With what? 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 I was promised like cookies, though. Where you better not have lied to me. I I, I don't know what you're talking. I don't cookies. have cookies. I like what are those? I like white chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies. I like chocolate chip cookies. I like snickerdoodles, which are like a sugar cookie. Snickerdoodles. Ah! Basically, Anyhow. she loves anything that's bad for you. No, I don't like raisin cookies. Um, I like oatmeal cookies. Those are good. I don't like raisin cookies. Don't no no raisins in my cookies, or I'll hulk hulk out on you. Um, so the mods. Yes, yes. we have mods. mods. Yes, number one yes. is uh, it's a no venue requirements. So mm -hmm. um, in the game, when you want to make your own lot, uh, if you want it to be like a bar or a park, there are certain requirements that the game. Um, gives you to actually make it a functioning venue or else your sims won't ever go to visit it. Like, the the, the sims that you don't control won't ever go to visit it. Oh, really? Uh, That's what happens? Uh, yeah. It's weird. I don't That's understand why. That's why nobody why. came. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why um, they did it that way. I mean, I never really made community lots before anyhow. But, you know, like with the pools... A lot of people want to make community lots with pools and stuff in them, which I would just make a gym. Gym, pool, they go together. Right. Um, or a park with a pool. Huh. But anyways, yeah. So, um, the game gives you requirements. So, this mod takes away the requirements needed to create that type of venue. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, so whatever you put the in there, thing. people will visit anyway. Yeah, they'll still... Um, they'll still get, you know, it won't be like, oh, no one's going to come to your lot because you didn't put that chessboard in there, you know, so it's not really a park. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, an XMLA data override, though. But, I mean, you shouldn't have any problems, of course, if you have problems, always read the directions, uninstall the mod, look the for usual. updates. The usual. Um, hmm. Oh, well. Which is good. A lot of people were kind of like, man. Mm. Although you know, it's kind of sad have... to see that gone. It was well, nice not... to put that list in there. Maybe they should have been more open about like what the things you should put there. I mean, uh, like optionally, not you know, force it, but you know. Oh. Whatever. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I understand like, theoret you know, like... You know, theoretically, if I go to a gym, I'm expecting gym equipment. But yeah, other that, than that, that makes sense. I don't know what else. Maybe but they need you to have a toilet and a shower. <laughs> requirement for park. I've never been to oh. a park with a chessboard. <laughs> oh, those are like those are like those parks you see in movies where right. they've got the the chessboards laid out for you. People Not will be eating life. picnic on top of chessboards in here. Like <laughs> real life parks don't don't have anything yeah. to do with that. Parks to me are like playgrounds. Yeah. Well, I mean, for me, it's like a place with they a bunch of had trees a and benches. They should and make a lot of grass, oh. tons of it. A lot of colonies. Oh. oh yeah, and then in the parks, you need to have like a jungle gym and stuff. They should have made a playground only venue for like the kitty stuff. That way, you're not forced to put the kitty stuff in your park. But now you don't have to put anything you don't want in your park. Yay! Anyhow, <laughs> I next? really thought you were going to be like giggity. Um. You know, you should Dang not it. embody him from Family Guy, okay? Because he's the worst person. He cares, maybe he cares even, about women. Maybe even more worse than Peter Griffin, whom I would never be married to if I were a cartoon character. <laughs> never. The lowest is... Um, so yeah. The, ne the next uh, mod is the cheap aspiration <laughs> rewards. It just... Um, sorry, I'm getting a little... Uh, allergy. Um, the cheap aspiration rewards just uh, cheapens the the price. <laughs> it makes them cheaper for you. For so... More people that don't want to play the game. I'm oh, sorry. Well, no. I mean, um, if the game is too hard for you, you can get this one. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm starting like a witch, witch hunt here. Like, oh, uh, well, okay. Well, you cannot make it on your own. You can always use this. 
<laughs> Pablo severely hates any mod that makes the game like easier. I mean, um, it's not too hard. Well, granted, in my one sim game, I it did cheat through an aspiration because it was the one where you can't have more than one BFF in the game, but the aspiration requires you to have more but than that one BFF. That makes sense. That, that's the game being broken. Yeah. And by then, all so means, by, go skip that. Yeah. <laughs> by cheating that aspiration completed, it gave me like 6,000. Yeah. <laughs> it gave me like four or 6,000 aspiration points. Hmm. But um, I mean, the whims though, the only thing I have about the, mm. the, the whims and the problems is that first whim is always dedicated to whatever emotion you're in. Yeah, they have one emotional and another... Yeah, so like as whatever. soon as you like flip, you know, like sometimes I can't even yeah, get to the Yeah, you're whim. working on it and then, whoop, yeah, oh no, like, I'm happy now. Thank you, you should be depressed. <laughs> I wanted to do this. I wanted to cry on my plants with my kill tears. Your whole family until you stay depressed. Damn it! Sorry, what? Oh, only, no. only for two hundred points. <laughs> there was the one um, I was trying to do. It was like cry on. You know, it was like water your plants with your tears because I was sad. And then as soon as I went outside to do it, I was not sad anymore, and I couldn't. They gotta cry. Fix that. The cry kitchen. nourishment into my plant. <laughs> they they need to make emotions linger. The fact that they can switch over five different emotions in a second is just too much. You, you yeah, don't have well, control on it. Like, I wonder, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm depressed because yeah. I see something laying on the floor. Then I go to to the living room. I'm focused because there's a rock on my right side. I go well, outside. I'm happy because there are butterflies. The butterflies don't do anything. You're uncomfortable because it's dirty. I mean, you'd uh, have to literally... will medicate you if you went through all that. <laughs> like, <laughs> you only... had all the many emotions in, like, in a minute. Well, they're, like, the ways to keep your emotions are, like, to read a book or to um, inspire yourself musically or... Yeah, um, I'm, I'm just talking about env environmental ones. Yeah, yeah, linger. like, my house is so filled with the career rewards that give you emotions. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> like having a seizure of emotions. <laughs> but I, I, t I, I learned my lesson and I turned most of them off. <laughs> so... But yeah, so okay. this one, okay, like, yeah, make some cheaper. Um, some of them are like, they're meant to be the really good rewards are meant to be the most expensive. Um, but some of them, there it's a, it's different like how it was in Sims 3. Like the potions are all, the, the, the short ones, the potions are all the cheap ones. Like you're flirty for like an hour or four hours or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then the ones that actually give you traits are more expensive, like... Yeah. The gardener trait and the good and the great kisser trait. I gave my sim great kisser. Ha. That's all, all I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I mean, it does take a while to get enough traits. Yeah. I mean, I mean points to get the traits, but whatever. Better. Cheap traits. Next okay. mod. The next one is uh, now this one I um, conflicts with the other mod so you got to read like i said you got to read the descriptions because mm -hmm. you can't have two of the same kind of mods that, that work on the same file so this is the no leftover parts mod so instead of when you repair your objects um it won't give you <laughs> the leftover parts blob mess on the ground um which I mean, like, unless you liked rummaging in the parts, because you can do that, or like if you're a kid, you yeah. can, um, like, jump in them. But I mean, you can buy parts on the computer. I mean, you do have to buy them. I mean, this, this mod will, but... would go great uh, by the hand of the handyman. Oh, well, because, I, mean, I wonder. You call the yeah. guy, it fixes, and it doesn't leave any left over. <laughs> um, win win. True. I mean, you can, um, there is actually two versions of this mod if you want at least the pile. Um, there's one that leaves only the pile of broken parts, and then the other version leaves nothing behind. What are the, why? I mean, you always get the, the parts. Well, it's like a junk pile, and you have to salvage the parts, and then you have to clean it up. Oh, okay, and th that's just the, the stuff that goes into your inventory, that's it. Yeah. Okay, that cool. All right, um, that, 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 is, that is a good mod, I guess. Uh, that, uh, I, uh, interesting. All right, what's, what's next? I'm sure it's a very normal mod. 
Oh, yeah, right. The next one um, is like the second favorite of Pablo's. It's no breast augmentation, but um, <laughs> it's uh, made by the same person. It's the expanded facial slider mod. <laughs> you can do some crazy things with your sim faces now. Uh, Yan, um, you, Yan, you should look at this. Uh, yeah, there's a couple pictures. Um, I did. I that, don't want to look at it again. <laughs> that third, that third picture looks like like really like a like a crotchety old witch. Um, Which one? The second one. The third one. The one with the gray hair. Oh, the third one. Yes. Yeah. The first one remind looks. I'm thinking he went to go for like a Darth Vader kind of Darth Maul, but there blue. Nine pictures. There's a lot of pictures. It's like. And then there's the alien with the really um, Wizard of Oz, Wicked Witch of the West chin going on. Man. Uh, like, if you wanted to make your Sims 4 more cartoony, this is how. No, if you want them this to is look like creepy for the and give you special. nightmares. Look at, look last... at this. The meeting of the creepiest people on, the, on Earth. I'm looking at the picture with just all of them. All the, all the freaks. Sorry, they're the one, freaks. Okay, yeah. they're, I'm not being racist. They're, they're freaks. freaks. Look at this. The, if the you're green, guy? give me a call. That's it. Like, no, no, the, best, the best one is face? the blonde woman with no waist, gigantic yes. tits, and a <laughs> weird ass face. Yes, exactly. Indeed. That She's is got like just... the weird eyes. She probably has the breast mod and the face mod going or, on. Or maybe, maybe you can just do it with this one. Maybe the breast mod is just for the breast because the guy was obsessed with breasts. And this guy was is like, Is that a no, female? No. I see yeah. boobies. Oh my god. That the, clown, the clown is a female? Yeah, the clown, I noticed it was a girl like way after. I thought it was a dude. The face on the face slider, he's like, it's all squ Anyhow. I don't know how we didn't Pablo, have this in the Pablo top didn't notice so. immediately because the boobs were too small. <laughs> they were saggy, small boobs. Yeah. <laughs> you noticed the big, you guys noticed the big bazooka boobs. It took you a while to notice it too. No, That's I just creepy. Care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I mean, if you Ooh. wanted to make creepy stuff, that's your mo that's the best model you can ever get. That's it. And then to be even, yeah, you can make your creepy Sims and and just go with yeah. it. Um, now, is the there a way to traumatize people with this in <laughs> any way? Pablo, you're so corny, so corny. Um, then last mod of the day. Da 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 da. Is a uh, more traumatic divorce for children. I don't want my family to have creepy faces before I'm getting traumatized. Oh, um, uh, the picture. I don't want my creepy sim parents with the weird facial sliders to get divorced and then make me forever sad. Yeah. Um, all right. The, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Composed. So, so this mod. Okay. So the more traumatic divorce mod. Um, in in the game, you know, your Sims get divorced, and it's like, um, if your Sims aren't present, like they don't give a crap, or um, your Sims are only sad for uh, I think twenty four Sim hours. Um, so. This will increase the duration of their sadness and increase the level of their sadness. So, for example, um, children will be, will be sad for five days and they will have a plus three sadness. Um, teenagers um, will be plus two sadness for four days. I don't, it says that teenagers didn't care before. So... <clears throat> Uh, they're adding a care level. <laughs> uh, no, because you know then, how teenagers are. Oh, parents are getting divorced. More presents for me. I, it's like, yeah, I hated mom anyways. <laughs> no. I hate my life. Um, right. And then apparently also the, <laughs> the ESP news of the divorce only, only generates in a small area. <laughs> where the divorce is currently happening so if you're upstairs you could be completely oblivious to the divorce right so it um you don't even get an email you just see that dad is gone forever and like i don't know he must be getting cigarettes thinking now oh god yeah he never came back so it um it like makes the the uh, effect of this of this news spreading further right so that it can afflict people can more of your family yeah that is important 
Would you send me um, an email? It's been a week that I haven't been home. <laughs> been eating tuna for like... Now well, basically have... they take a loudspeaker and just shout, Divorce! Yes. We're catching divorce! <laughs> we hate Anyone each other, bye! Here? Divorce! And, and yes, it no. is because of you! <laughs> it's your fault! No Christmas You were presents. a bad child! <gasps> That's probably what they say in Simlish, but because we can't understand it. You just hear Susu, you know. And we're like, fuck you. You are me, Yeah. Um, you are yeah, a well, mistake. I mean, I'm not one of those players that, like, that makes my Sims get divorced. I, I would contemplate maybe... I've never even really played a cheating family. Although for the mods, I, I did get in... Well, I was going to get in trouble. Barbie was like hawking. Yes. She was just like, what are you two doing? Yeah, but she's just like looking at it. But she was like, well, there is a wall. So I don't know. But I'm still looking because the moment I, I see a window in the middle... <laughs> Well, you missed it, though, because I actually, like, stopped and started recording a bunch of times because I just started, like, I had them flirting and Barbie was in the kitchen eating her food and she, like, got the I'm about to slap you mood and I was like, click, click, go outside, go outside, go outside. <laughs> Did you basically Sorry. just go, zoom? Yeah, I mean, the, the recording of that, that's a thing because, I mean, she has to, like, it was funny to see the guy just reading a book forever. If he canceled <laughs> it, wouldn't he still just put it back? She was trying to record the, uh, the number 10 uh, mod, which was to put books away. And she was waiting for the guy to stop reading, finish reading, sorry, and put it away. Yeah. But that book didn't have a progress bar. He was going to die starving <laughs> reading at that book. Yeah, I was like, why is there no progress bar on reading the book? Like, all of, I'm like thinking... It's a skill book, right? Like, there's always a progress bar. And then I was like, okay, maybe... Well, he, I had him read a bunch of... I had them read a bunch of... I had Barbie <laughs> read. I had Ken read. I was like, for flipping sake, one of way, you... Skill finish. books don't have a uh, progress bar, and the others do. Well, whatever. And I was like, maybe if I have him read one of these other books, the unicorn book or something. But then, like, I never saw him actually... He was standing so close to the bookshelf. Yeah, I never, just... like saw him do it it was like this quick like psh, i'm yeah. like oh, i missed it uh, i ended up using that one anyway i was gonna be like i think D did you did you see the the, the 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 sorry on the darker progress bar when she goes to the toilet yeah i saw Jan like popped in there like ah! i actually i swapped out Wait, my sensor mod I swapped it out, so now I have the tiny one and not the naked one. I mean, they are uh, yeah. creepy. Uh, qu quite, I, uh, yeah. So uh, basically, because she didn't have uh, the sensor, uh, she had the sensor mod, so she was like literally sitting all dressed up in the toilet and look didn't look good for the video. And it may get people confused why the darker progress bar was making her <laughs> not have any sensor on top. So, you know, to cover that, it was just Jan. And uh, let me let me find the right here. But I mean... Uh, you could have used any part of the video that had a, that had them do anything. Oh, but when I saw that, I was like, "Oh, that is just young material right there." And then I, I think I think that was the video where I said, like, I was giving you like I was giving Pablo voice direction notes so yes. that he would know. I was like, I think I was like, "Oh, you can use the one where she goes to put the book away before she goes to the toilet if you want," because I couldn't I couldn't get them. And then at the very end, I was like, "Just do it. Just do the book. Just read the book and put the book away." <laughs> and uh, it was bad. I actually moved Cassandra Goth into my family so that I could have her there <laughs> the whole time to flirt. And I noticed it unlocked, like, all the flirting, except for, I guess the regular flirting stuff is not, is not bad. <gasps> I can't read. I, I quit. quit. Why does Jan quit? Is he quit because he was the, the um, censor? He was a sensor block. No, Just no. Sit there. He, he, worked oh. he wasn't like, he, uh, he was out of town actually today, right? Yes. I was if only you had today. your old camera, you could get frozen. You just have to find a way to like screenshot yourself and then pause the camera and then just, just go to sleep. Put the hat over your eyes and go to sleep. Right. But yeah. I mean, it was, 
It was fine. That video actually didn't take me that mu that long. Although you did miss all of the blooper beforehand videos, but I was like, "F it, I'm just going to make another one. I'm just going to start over again." <laughs> Cuz I, <laughs> I wanted it all in one go. But oh, nothing man. broke, so whatever. Oh, the the content for the video was great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, so since the mod is most like, I mean, yeah, since the patch is most likely coming out to, today, tomorrow, yesterday, I uh, air, today. um, I am, it's happening. I, I wish I could have a, I know there's gotta be a cheat to, uh, to, to promote yourself. Um, I'll, cause otherwise if I stream it on Thursday, it's going to take forever to get through the levels of the careers. Forever. Um. Forever. <laughs> also, this marks the end of our actual content. Oh, true. Um, we have like twenty minutes of just drinking mate. Oh, oh, here. Well, um, I wanted Pablo to make this into a T-shirt and market it for us. Oops, sorry. Yes, that is really cool. Oh, it's. Flipped. There's Pablo with his mate. John is if anyone it, knows how we could do cheap merchandise without having to invest anything, let us know. Yes. There's Jan with his indifferent face, and there's me with my mouth open because I'm always talking. Except uh, for I forgot to. Let me Whatever. see if I can I find um, the the picture that you sent on the group. We used Lion to talk, and uh, yeah. the put picture... it on a T-shirt for us. Yeah. Are you sure. Went to or a who, who wants a T-shirt with our drawn face on? <laughs> I don't think I uh, even I would use it, but no, you the, a coffee mug, make a mate yeah. spoon. A, a straw. A, that, that that is like actually just, a perfect a style mug. for mug. Just have a mug, and I'll just have the mug, and we'll just go merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right because before Jan had plugged all of his other branded materials like that notepad was it like that for that drug that you're supposed to that you're not taking which drug I'm taking drugs was yeah. it like an antidepressant drug I forget what it yeah. was yeah <laughs> oh, I could have like I ate find my the picture. Look, look I'm very good at plugging materials if anyone wants yes. to sponsor us I'll, oh, yeah. I'll be more than happy to just do this throughout the show. We'll eat your cookies. We'll drink your sports strings. We'll maybe wear your clothes if they're good looking enough. Like, uh, I, I will just go with your, with your face cream and do this. Like, yeah. but we'll do anything. Just if you want to sponsor us. For Send money. us contact, headsets. Contact, you can contact me directly, Jan at SimNation.tv. I'm, I'm more than happy to plug things. <laughs> hey, like, the rest of us want, need merch, too. <laughs> you, want, you want me to promote your new phone? I'll pretend I have a phone call on it. It'll do everything. No problem. Oh, I actually heard this because I have been new. <laughs> We'll make like a fake call like, to Jan. I got this news via email on my new camera phone. <laughs> like, and then next week we'll have a different one. So I yeah. got this via text message on my new phone. <laughs> we'll be like every single uh, TV series where they're like, oh, my HTC, oh, my Sprint, oh, my Blackberry, oh, my. And I'm like, really? <laughs> but yeah. So. I do want to see. I wonder if I can get up early enough tomorrow to <laughs> um to download the patch. I made. I didn't make. Well, I started making another house. It's a starter home for my Asian family that I made. The Yukimaras. Yukimaras. You made an Asian family. I did. I uploaded them to the gallery. It was way back oh, before the game came out. It. They're Japanese. Uh, um, I looked at Google pictures of of Japanese people. So that I could make them. Did look you hashtag Asian. it so I can find it? Yeah, it's it's all of my uploads are under uh, Submission TV hashtag. Pablo also, like yelled at me. He was like, "For AT and T, we're not sponsoring you. We're not promoting you. Piss off." Oh, <laughs> AT and T. I'll promote Sprint because I have a I have a Galaxy Note Four. Although this is dirty, don't look at that. I have a Galaxy Note Four, and I have a case, and um, I have. Sprint. I have a real phone. 
and it has a stylus that comes out of it. Like, woo! That's how I drew our picture. Yes. Was with the stylus. Oh, where's my camera? Where is it? With my stylus. In my in my and what did I use? I used Art Rage. Art Rage is cool though because it simulates the actual brush strokes and like the um the color like. Like it has pastels and watercolor, so that the colors will bleed together. It has um, paint, like the wall paint. It has. It's lovely, but if you use a, de a proper device. <laughs> Fuck you! I have I have you a tablet. Use proper oh, companies. Oh, here you I found your uh, paper. I found your Asian my family. My tablet. Yeah, the Yukimaras. Yes. I gave them Asian names. <laughs> I looked up Asian names, like last names too. I gave them names and I looked up what the meanings of the names were. I went to baby names, basically, and looked up Japanese names. I changed it, though. I made her not a music. I, I changed the woman so that she doesn't like music anymore, and I made her a snob. She's a, uh, she's a self-assured, outgoing snob, and he is a music-loving, ambitious... I don't remember. Is she? Because she's like a music lover here. Yeah, I, I changed it when I uploaded her into a new game. Oh, okay. And then I, I had to, of course, give them swimsuits because I made it during the demo before the game came out. Oh, you you made this a long time ago, I see. Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't made any Sims. I haven't uploaded anything since I made those three houses. So I'm making... So I start... I gave them a, a, an empty plot, and I'm making a starter home for them. I wouldn't, I wanted to download them, but I'm like... It's too, way too much crap. Way too many houses to look through. I have to go and check and make sure they look nice. They're not too blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, whatever. I'm going to just try to make a starter home <laughs> with my 20,000 simoleons. It's going pretty okay so far. I've got two stories. I have, like, furnished nothing except for I gave them a table to sit at. That's there's good. Some, there's some kind cool of. windows, though. It's like, um, they're not, I can't really call them windows, but they're archways mm -hmm. with, um, with a little railing. So it's almost like just a completely open hole in your wall but oh my god blurry world blurry but it's like i would think it would look better i feel like that kind of window is better like if you have like a little um living room area that overlooks like your backyard but i put it in front of the i put it in my breakfast nook what are you doing, your camera? Okay, I think He's now they're trying colors. to make it focus. No, well, why don't because I, I become more yellow and yellow oh. and yellow. I told you, stop wearing black. You need to wear gray, Pablo, or another color to neutral to light balance. I'm a photographer to light balance your camera. <laughs> Basically that, yes, yes. You should just wear a white piece of paper. Just stick it inside your shirt, like fold it up, and then yeah, like a like a bib. No, like bib it. I'm awesome. Gravity respects me. <laughs> Pablo's so fat. He has his own center of gravity. Yeah, you gotta tuck the top of it into your shirt like a bib. That piece of paper is folded, and you're leaning backwards. Don't even try to trick me. <laughs> I'm straight. <laughs> it's desperately trying to cling to Pablo <laughs> for its own it's survival. It's like, Pablo, you're so hot. Let me have you. He would Go be hot because he's wearing now. black, and black absorbs the heat. Of course. I was talking about the house I was building, you flucker. I hate Pablo. <laughs> You're not uh, allowed to play Dragon Age Inquisition with me. If anyone is going to be playing Dragon Age Inquisition, and um, I don't have the game yet, but you can gift it to me for Christmas on Origin. Or if you just wait for me, and then we can four-player co-op that she's at. I'm trying to get Pablo and Jan to do it Jan with me. Poor. Jan is really poor. Jan, Jan, Jan is poor. I am poor. If you want to gift us um, a Dragon Age Inquisition, 
on Origin. Um, I don't annoying. mind if you want to do the regular or the digital deluxe version. I will take either. Um, I'm playing Dragon Age Origins basically, right basically, now. Basically, we will take all the freebies we can get. Yes. If you want to give us anything, just be you know. I'll have Pablo and Jan strip on the next podcast for you if you if you agree to send us stuff. <laughs> Jan is always ready to like take his clothes off. I mean, I mean, it's only going to be waist up though, so you're not going to see any um, you're not going to see any D, just yeah. waist. Yeah, up. yeah, no. But we 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 will uh, Fallon will sing. You can leave the clothes the, the hat on while, I, uh, while we do it. <laughs> nice. And I will leave the hat on because <laughs> ain't only it the hat. But yeah. You can leave your hand on. Welcome to I, the Naked Podcast. And we'll be drinking. Next week is our special Christmas one. So we're going to be drunk. Jan is going to be on some Ooh. sort of drugs and naked. And um, we may be saying some really silly things. More silly than normal. What do I have? Although I do have commitments next week. So I might not actually be able to make it. <laughs> it's y- Jan. Hashtag face bomb. Hashtag assassinate. That's why I'm Christmassy this week, you know, so you can just cut me out and put me in saying random shit. Well, throughout. you know, I mean, Christmas is on Thursday and Christmas, Christmas Eve is on Wednesday. So, I mean, I guess we could change the date for that week. If we're going to make a Christmas special, right? Well, yeah, but I go away on Tuesday. Oh, you leave this to your house. I leave the country. <laughs> oh, you leave the country. That's even but harder. But if we're doing Shit. it on right. Monday, okay. Whatever so you well, want. so Monday yeah, is going to be, be special. Mon- I don't know. With we'll see. Jan's uh, picture made by drawn by Fallon, or yeah. the actual Jan, or Jan where he's dancing in front of my um, unblurred <laughs> out sim on the potty. <laughs> We, we, I'll, can I'll just, just we can just make that a GIF and just like we can just um, vocally I'll we just, can after, phone after Skype after we're done after we're done uh, recording the podcast I will just do a bunch of drunken and high poses and you can just use those right. on a loop, on a loop. And why can't like we just, just press um, each button to play different videos right? why can't we just have Jan get on only on voice on his phone phone Skype true, true. that sounds like dirty phone Skype uh, we're gonna have a phone call. <laughs> you know, like I'm I was almost as embarrassed earlier as I was at work when they tried to get me to twerk. So uh, Well oh when, when we were recording that? When we were recording earlier and y'all oh, was yeah. like touching himself. Yeah. My face went a little red. Basically, my mission before the podcast is to make them as uncomfortable as humanly possible so that then I can do all the talking. Yes. <laughs> it's by, basically like is, shooting himself is, in the foot because he was tired. But <laughs> This is now my podcast. You two are obsolete. Right. We're, 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 we're the sl- side shows, literally, because we're on the side. Like, I'm the best. That's why I'm in the middle. Right. Because God, it would, no, it would be terrible. I mean, it would be really sandwich. terrible if somebody pressed a button and you disappeared all of a sudden, right? No, because they don't get split in half. Jan's in the middle so that if we need to, we can squish him out. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I don't know what you're talking about. We still want to play Dragon Age Inquisition, just in case you are still watching. <laughs> um... Are you, well, oh, oh, wait, no, okay. So you're joining me on Thursday for this stream, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I can. Jan has a bad connection, though. What? Yeah. Yeah, your Ooh, We could stream the, 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 the Christmas special. Yay. Why didn't we stream today? Because I forgot to tell Fallon. Yeah, he forgot to tell me. She, no, she, my connection was fine, but for some reason, it really hates Fallon streaming. No, I, I get so the same issue. I think she's very high quality. That's the issue. Look, Fallon, no, you need to my stop stream, stream, streaming in 1080p. That's my stream is set to 3500 bit rate. 3500. And stop streaming that. in 1080p. 
My monitor is freaking 1920 by 1200. That's so small. So weird because I watched a four hour stream yesterday and it worked fine. It just hated you. It just doesn't look. I'm opening up my OBS right now and it's totally blocking my face out. Okay. My stream, my stream settings. Okay. My stream settings. Okay. I don't remember. Right, 3,500 max bitrate buffer, 3,500. Video. Let's My monitor, it it's at it's set to like 20 by 1080. Look, what do you want me to do? Basically, guys, more of you <laughs> need to watch a stream so that we can get Twitch to give us the stream settings. So that yes. you can then, the user, well, the watcher can then select what kind of quality he wants to watch it. Well, I'm right here uh, checking the, the OBS website and uh, how to configure it. And uh, <laughs> they're saying nothing useful, so I'm still looking. I don't want to stream it at 720. Like, my freaking everything on my screen would be, like, the size of an elephant. I keep rate. 1920 by 1200 so that everything is tiny. Well, Twitch currently recommends a maximum, maximum of 3500. Yeah, I'm at 3,500. You're at the, the maximum. That's why he can't watch. That's why we can't watch. The max. You're such a liar. The, and I was no, so excited. This. I was like, Fallon is streaming. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go. Sh gonna say Here. shit in the chat. So okay, she okay. laughs all the time. Okay, no, I got I'm it. Changing it. General rule of thumb on changing the OBS 3, question and help forum as far as bitrate and quality is 3,500 kilobytes per second. Kilobits per second. Uh, for a decent, good 1080p, 30fps, max bitrate recommended by Twitch. Um, 3,000 uh, kilobits per second, moderate 1080p, 30. Uh, or high quality 720p, 60fps. Um, so, I okay. changed it to 3,000 just for Jan. That, I shaved off 500 Okay, that, that'll be great. Just for you, Jan. So for now Thursday, you need you'll to be ready. on Thursday so I can watch it. Oh, I will. I'm being forced to stream on Thursdays. Why? Because my my other day off. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> um, yeah, we basically do stuff whenever Fallon is allowed to come out and play because then she's working. When I don't have to get up super early in the morning. Okay, well, I, that's it for the podcast. We made it. We gone. Good. We good. Did talk. So, yeah, uh, remember, you can always join us at our forums, discuss.simnation.tv, the link that I usually you find in the description below. I am drinking mate. Look forward to all of your business and athletic careers. <laughs> mm, have fun with that. Nice and if you're not at all interested in the bullshit the Sims 4 have become, you can go and check out our City Skylines podcast at uh, like youtube.com slash simnationtv. Or you can just go and tell, uh, go to uh, youtube.com slash paradoxextra and put in the comments how awesome we are so yeah. they want us to do more. Let them know that we're awesome because we are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that is all for the podcast. My name is Pablo. That was Fallon right there. You're uh, Christmassy young. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, this is the most satisfying thing ever. We are God in SimCity 4. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna eat that, huh? You're gonna eat it. I see. What? Nothing. Okay. And now she is tossing that salad with her... Stop sticking your finger in your ear! Alright, she's tossing the salad with her earwax. It does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> it does it really well. Okay. Oh, they're coming for you, I, Pablo! Shit, Run! Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's road trips, man, are killing me. Anyway, let me know whenever we are recording. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Extended Play. I'm your host, this is Stuart, and that is a fancy, fancy sign. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.